hi there welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Daphne, and i am currently doing my exchange in a city that has been named one of the most expensive in the world toronto it's home to many amazing artists and over six million people from different backgrounds and ethnicities living in canada's largest city is truly amazing especially when it's not so cold because it can get quite cold in the winter here too However, as the days become longer and there's so many cool things to do, you, you gotta be careful to not burn a hole in your pocket as it can be quite expensive here. To give you an idea of how much you can expect to spend if you're considering studying here, I'll take you with me to a random day in my life to show you how much I spend as a 21-year-old exchange student. So buckle up and let's get started. Uh, as you may or may not know from my Toronto Chronicles, which is like a series of all my uh, Canada moving to Canada vlogs. If you want to watch them, I will link them somewhere here or somewhere in the card. As you may or may not know, I've been here in Toronto for a couple of months doing my exchange program. It's almost coming to an end, which is so real because it feels like I just got here yesterday. But uh, yesterday I did, I did my finals, I finished all my finals, like I'm done with all the exams and stuff. So now I can just go around like a tourist doing all the touristy stuff. In that spirit, I thought it would be maybe a fun idea to check you along with me to show you how much I would spend in a day on average as like as a broke student on a budget because yeah we are on a budget it's currently one I woke up a couple of hours ago just uh, I didn't really have breakfast because I don't really like to eat in the mornings especially like extremely the first thing when I wake up so I'm just gonna go now get some brunch and we'll start there with how much that would be and then during the rest of it I'll take you to downtown with me maybe some, some friends will join me around, along the way and uh, tonight we have like a goodbye exchange dinner so we'll also be doing that so yeah let's go first things first today we're currently let's put the counter on zero and see how much we can crank up by the end of today responsibly of course First things first, I don't know if you can hear me. First things first, I still have my Starbucks gift card, so I'm gonna go on campus on the Starbucks in here to try to get some brunch over there because I, I wanna use that before I leave. And it's also much, much cheaper for me to do that. Can I have a wrap, please? Yeah, thank you. The first thing that I got was this Starbucks, it was about $17, but I had $10 on my card, so I only paid like 7 something. And after, I'm, I'm going to eat this for a while and edit while I'm at it. And after this, I'm going to go to LCBO because we have like, we're going to go out tonight after the dinner. And I would like to pre-drink, like all to, also tomorrow as well. So I'm going to go get booze for that. And I'm also going to go and get some groceries for breakfast tomorrow and lunch and the day after. lighter we are currently in LCBO the goal is to get the most amount of alcohol as cheap as possible so that's what we're trying to figure out I think we have a winner we are looking at 12% for $10 thank you a lovely Bacardi. I think I'm gonna take one of these as well. So yeah, that's it. Now we're another $30 lighter from LCBO. Now I'm gonna go head home. I walked here because it's only like 20 minute walk, but since I have a lot of stuff on me, I'm gonna I'm gonna take public transport, which should be like $3.30. So let's go do that, and then from there I'm gonna head to downtown. So I'm back. We already spent, I think, nearly, I think a little over 50 Canadian dollars, which is something. Most of the money went towards like uh, LCBO because booze is expensive. 
Uh, uh, if you didn't know, here in Canada you can only buy alcoholic beverages at one star LCB. You they don't sell it in supermarkets and stuff. And then I went to Northwoods, which is the cheapest supermarket that I have found here in Canada, where I bought like some uh, things, to, some snacks, and some breakfast. Getting ready again, like getting ready, for touching up on my makeup and stuff. And then I'm gonna go to downtown, where we're gonna go around to see the chili blossoms with uh, another or some of the other exchange students. And then later we have the dinner in downtown as well. I'm gonna be traveling on a cent three dollar fifty. Like I don't know if you heard me earlier when it was a bit noisy outside, but in Canada when you use like the Presto card and uh, use it within I think it's a one hour and a half or something. Uh, any bus and city buses and metros that you use on it uh, for the same price, you can uh, switch as much as pos possible with the same three fifty. So the same money I used to get here, it's gonna be the same one I used to get to downtown. Even though I'm going to switch like from one bus to a metro, it's going to be the same price. So yeah, that's how much I'm spending right now for public transport. I probably will spend more when I'm coming back later. So yeah, that's it for now. Because so, I don't want to be late again. So I'm going to switch up now. And I'll see you guys in downtown. just made it to downtown and you're gonna go get some souvenirs and then later at the restaurant so let's see how much we crack up here hopefully not too much but I want to get some souvenirs from people back home of course I'm gonna start with the maple leaves because you cannot be in Toronto without the maple leaves spent anything so far because I've been just walking around and we went to the uh, maple leaf store but I didn't get anything myself and now we are gonna go to the restaurant and then yeah see you then cool. <laughs> This is actually a couple of days later. The other expense that we added on to that, as you saw, was the dinner. The total for me, was, it was $50.75. This is including like two drinks and uh, food. Uh, however, also here tipping culture, and since we were with a big group, the tip, uh, tipping was 18%. So tips were about $9.14, which brought the total to $66.49. So that was a total for dinner and that added cost for transportation and when we got back to red we came back a little early and then i we had those drinks that i bought yesterday i only that day i drank like um only drank wine and berries but most of the other stuff already had in the house so i'm just gonna use the whole money i bought for the booze because i did drink a lot of other stuff uh that were much more probably much more expensive than the ones i bought but let's just say the total for that was the groceries i did earlier that's at lcbo so which brought us to a grand total of wait one moment i need to pull up the receipts which brings us to a grand total of 130 dollars and one cent However, uh, if you're gonna add utilities, uh, so if you're gonna add uh, everything up, let's say health insurance is about 280 a month divided by four, that leaves a total of 70 per month, $10 a day. The dental insurance is $140 Canadian also for four months. So that will be a total of $13.70 for dental and health insurance. And on top of that, of that we have like rent, rent is 4245 for four months again so that that makes 151 dollars per day 
Yeah, so that will bring our total expenditure per day if you're including utilities. That brings us to a grand total of about $300 a day if you're including utilities. So yeah, uh, Toronto is, yeah, it's not a cheap city to live in, but it's worth it, I feel like. So yeah, that's it. I, I, if you liked the video, forget to give a big thumbs up. I'll also link the rest of my uh, Toronto Chronicles here, which I have a playlist with all my Toronto vlogs. There are about four of them up on the channel right now. Also in that same breath, I also have like a, a Mexico vlog, as well as a New York vlog and a North Carolina vlog, because with a bit of traveling while we are here. So yeah, I'm gonna link also those over here in my travel vlogs. Uh, playlist. Make sure you subscribe down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.